Today's video is brought to you by CruiseLine.com and Shipmate app. Did you know you can research and book your excursions right in the Shipmate app? Click on Explore, choose your port, and browse excursions by destination. It's super simple to read reviews from real cruisers and book your activities right in the app. Hey cruisers, we just had the wonderful opportunity to spend a few days on board Norwegian Bliss and we were totally blown away by the beautiful studio cabins and the studio lounge. We wanted to talk just a little bit today about the pros and cons of these cabins. Now, before we launch into that, we wanted to tell you why we have this crazy wacky setup behind us here. You are looking at our Gearathon setup. We do have another channel called Cruise Gear where we review products for cruises of all different types of products. And we're doing something fun called Gearathon, which is 26 days of gear reveals and reviews. So go check out Cruise Gear, youtube.com uh, forward slash Cruise Gear and check it out. We have some great discount codes for you there. Now, back to Norwegian Bliss Studio Cabins. Let's talk about the pros and cons. So some of the pros of the studio cabins is that they can be a really, really good deal. Work with your travel agent though to compare the prices between a studio cabin and another type of cabin with just a single supplement. Super important that you do that. Number two pro, you can meet new friends. There are people who want to meet new friends in these single cabins, take advantage of the lounge and um, get to know other folks. Now, one of the things that I did not know until very recently is that these studio lounges and this studio area is very exclusive and comes with its own coordinates or concierge, if you will, who helps you to get to know each other. They arrange meetups. They walk you down to dinner. They get show reservations for you. It's the coolest thing ever. And it is a feature that you don't have in other cabins. So I think that's a wonderful thing to take care of. And they have coffee, snacks, and some beverages in the studio lounge. Gorgeous, gorgeous place to meet new friends and be with like-minded people. It's a very, very well-equipped area. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, studio cabins themselves. In my opinion, for a tiny cabin, these are very well-equipped. The bed is a very nice size. They have gorgeous flat screen TVs, plenty of storage, and in my opinion, a very suitable bathroom. So no surprise that Norwegian was voted one of the best cruise lines for solo travelers by Porthole Cruise Magazine for years on end. This is an awesome spot, but there are some cons. Let's talk about it. If you do not like small cabins, these may not be right for you. These are some pretty snug little cabins for some folks. So take that into consideration if you feel that you need a little bit of extra space when cruising. Also, price. Now we mentioned that as one of the pros, but can also be a con. You really wanna check to see how these are priced compared to other cabins with a single supplement before you take the plunge. Another con is sometimes, just sometimes, there's limited availability. There are only a certain number of these cabins on certain Norwegian ships and they can sell out very, very fast. So make sure that you book very early. Now that's all the cons that I can think of. If you're the type of person who doesn't spend a whole lot of time in your cabin, and you're just one of those people who says, I only shower and sleep in my room, this might be a great choice for you. Let's take a look at Studio Cabin 12501, a Deck 12 studio. All cabins on Bliss use energy-saving key card slots to keep the cabin lights and power on. Any card will do the trick. This room features a flat screen TV, telephone, a bedside lamp, and two USB chargers beside the bed. The closet is ample for one person and holds the safe on a lower shelf. The stool you see here can double as a small table and can be found in most cabins on Bliss. We love the use of vertical storage space near the sink and the hand soap dispenser that replaces bar soap. The spacious shower features an adjustable shower head that can also be used handheld. Conditioning shampoo, shower gel, and a glass door. 
The sink and shower are in the main living area, but the toilet is in its own room with a door. There's a full length mirror between the shower and toilet room. The virtual window near the bed even has a screen you can close. The studio lounge for studio passengers is a great place to meet other solo travelers and enjoy coffee, wine, snacks, and other refreshments. If you have ever sailed in a Norwegian studio cabin, any ship, not just Norwegian Bliss, tell us all about your experience in the comments below. We'd love to learn a little bit more and get a dialogue going about this. Thank you so much for tuning in today to this fun episode on Studio Cabins on Norwegian Bliss. We hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.